Party B is taking a little bit of flack due to a specific song that got released. With Cardi B, I will defend her on this. You want to tarnish your career? Go ahead. And when that happened, I knew something was wrong. You go on ahead and literally put yourself in this situation where you're in this conversation and there are layers to this shit and you don't even meet these expectations. There should be no fucking reason that these fans should be sitting here and trying to literally, and I don't know why, want to sit here and defend you regardless of what it was. But you motherfuckers still want to put her in these conversations. What the motherfucker? Do we have to fucking go ahead and, and literally drop down the fucking evidence here? I will. I, I fucking, fucking will. will. Up until recently, I wanted to bring up some particular parts of drama that kind of like resurfaced a little bit. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be defending this particular um, female artist and people can take it with a grain of salt regardless of what you say to me um so for context cardi b is taking a little bit of flack due to a specific song that got released and um it was a little bit similar a little bit similar to a uh, ski masks song back in 2018. so when I was having this discussion um, about a few uh, days ago, I was saying like, hey, maybe we should think about this. Because one thing for sure is that like, I can't say what type of feelings that Ski Mask has is valid. Because to be quite fair to his contrary, the sound sample he has is not really his. It's Missy Elliott's. <laughs> That's one. Two, um, although I will say this with the benefit of the doubt, the reason I'm kind of neutral with this is because, one, with Cardi B, I will defend her on this, that she she can't really be stealing it technically, because in all honesty, um, Ski Mask, what he does with his songs, he does sample stuff from um, certain artists, so I can't say that it's taken out of proportion so this goes without saying however what I will say is that Cardi B does have a reputation and I think a lot of people need to understand that she has a reputation of doing certain shit that has scandaled her career to a certain degree now whether you like it or not I'm not gonna take that away from anybody what I will say is this Cardi B stands, and this is just them in general, y'all need to understand that this is something that you must take with a grain of salt, no matter what the consequences are. Because at certain points, you have to realize that she's making mistakes. And when she is making these mistakes, you also have to realize like, hey man, you have to understand like, she has to take accountability. Because at certain points, I've said this before, her fan base do not know when to take accountability. And that is the main issue. <laughs> this goes for almost every fan base that I know, to a certain degree. Some of y'all can't take accountability. And when that happens, y'all choose to go directly into certain issues. Like, that's going that's bound to fucking happen. Like, come on. So that being said. To make it very, very clear for some people in here, I do not despise Cardi B as an artist. She can do whatever she wants. That's her. That's her career. However, I only despise the fans that literally go on ahead and try to defend her when she does certain things that will tarnish her career. Now, she can do whatever the fuck she wants to with her career. I'm not going to sit there and literally say that she shouldn't do these things. However, these Cardi B fans need to understand that, and this goes for the stands as well, because if there's some Cardi B fans that take accountability, good on you, because at least you need to understand that, one, she's human, but two, she needs to take accountability for certain things that she do in her career, whether if it's good or bad. 
Now, when it comes to this, I need people to understand where I'm coming from. I am someone who takes someone's career very seriously and no matter what the consequences are, if you make these mistakes, it is on you to fix them. Now, this is one of the few reasons I say if you're going to have these particular issues where you have a specific problem in your particular career, it's on you if you want to fix it or not to fix it. That is up to you. You choose to literally tarnish your career. You want to tarnish your career? Go ahead. You want to take it a different path? Go ahead. But don't you literally expect me to literally go ham on your fans when they don't listen. When they do not listen. When it comes to any particular conversation. Because at certain points, they literally go ahead and defend you. They defend you. And when they do defend you, they'll literally say in the same sentence, why is my particular artist that I am a fan of literally getting flack for this? Maybe because it'll tarnish their career. And then you are in the same breath saying that, oh, they're in the go tier conversation. I get it. The go tier conversation is an opinionated thing. But whenever... Whenever that discussion gets brought up and people don't realize the actual issue with it, they literally don't realize that there's more to what they have. And if you tarnish one of them, that literally takes them away from this conversation. It happens. So in case people aren't understanding what's going on in this particular situation in this, I think people need to understand that Somebody like Cardi B has tarnished her career already, which is something that has happened in the past. Now, granted, I will say this for once and I'll say this again. The past will not get brought up in this, but I will say this because I think this will be a little unfair. Because, don't get me wrong, to those of y'all who are watching right now, I need you to understand that if you are a fan of Cardi you be please please understand where i'm coming from because i've had to literally deal with this issue where i have to go ahead and fix these issues to where she tarnishes her own reputation because she chooses to ignore and chooses to be in denial of these things now the reason i am saying this right now is because a lot of you are literally, uh, well, not a lot of you. Some of the Cardi B stands literally defend her to the teeth and bone and nail for the fact that she literally goes on ahead and has ghostwriters at the beginning of her fucking career. Now, we've had these discussions about ghostwriters coming into your career. Now, I've made a logistical argument about it, and this it was this. I said directly that if you literally do it and almost damn near past your prime of your career i wouldn't give a shit because you've already worked hard up until this point i love the passionate rant <laughs> oh um we're having if you didn't read the title um we're talking about um certain topics about hip-hop and the drama that kind of occurred w between uh cardi b and ski mess the slump god but i'm bringing up a little bit more about what's going on in that particular situation and why Certain people are flacking her for it because to a certain degree Cardi B has had a reputation of Literally being a little lazy when it comes to her career now. Do I say that she's lazy at all? Fuck no She does everything she can to keep everything in production everything in her writing. Okay, cool but the problem is that she's had a tarnishing reputation where it within I think a damn near a year radius that she had a ghostwriter, and let's just say it didn't end well, of course. And when it didn't end well, um, it put a lot of flack on her because not only did it tarnish her career a little bit by talking about certain things, but it tarnished her reputation in the award that was brought up into that later year. Because if people do not remember, she won the best. She won the best lyricist of the year she literally won that and when she did i wasn't surprised because at certain points i knew certain shit was going to happen and when that happened i knew something was wrong because that same exact year snow the product 
goes on ahead. Literally that same year, Snow the Product, the girl that ghostwrites for not only Bad Baby, but most importantly, Cardi B, comes out to literally expose her about it. And surprise, surprise, she goes in denial about it. Now, you're probably wondering how I figured out that this was actually the case. I have literally been doing this shit since day fucking one. I have been doing this hip hop shit since day fucking one. And when I first started, I made it abundantly clear that when it comes to this, I think a lot of people need to understand that I am very stickler for some people who literally do this, especially when it comes to the GOAT conversation. If you go on ahead and literally put yourself in this situation where you're in this conversation and there are layers to this shit and you don't even meet these expectations, there should be no fucking reason that these fans should be sitting here and trying to literally, and I don't know why, want to sit here and defend you regardless of what it was. Because one, you're playing at bad faith. Two, you know and damn well you're wrong for this. And then three, I have to sit here and literally straw man your argument because you want to sit here and try to literally advocate for something that has so many loopholes in. Like, brother, I can't keep doing this shit. Like, come on. And then I have to sit here and literally tell people like, hey, she has a tarnishing career and she's more than likely not gonna be able to even make the top 50, top 100, damn near the top 10 or top five because of all the shit that has happened to her. Who, Cardi B? Yes, I keep saying this to people like, bro, her fucking, con her fucking career is tainted because of the fact that she decided to do that. It is tainted. It's a queen, that is a fact. I will admit that. That is a fact. I will not take that. I will take that cold heart and lead to the grave no matter what the consequence is. This all goes for every female rapper across the board. However, I have said this time and time again. If they have flaws, then they can. There's a slight chance that their entire career or legacy, if they want to make it on their own, will fucking literally decline because of the fact of where their path is going. So. This is not the rule that I want to make, but it is what it is. You guys literally need to understand that particular rhetoric, because otherwise it's going to literally damage y'all if you're trying to make conversations like that. You have a valid point. That's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying saying that it's ruining her career. She has a bad career. No, she, she has a different path. She wants to go it. That's hers. That's what her career is going to be. But these fans need to understand that there is a fucking huge layer to the goat tier conversation that she is literally not taking the path of but you motherfuckers still want to put her in these conversations i need people to understand that if you make this conversation know the consequences of what you have depending on the artist okay this goes for cardi b no matter what the consequences are hell the same thing the same fucking rhetoric goes for nikki and if you people people have a problem with that brother i don't know what to tell you you literally decided to make a conversation about this and you failed with it when you tried to literally go ahead and make a conversation about it like i don't want to hear this shit i'm like i'm not gonna hear your argument about cardi b oh being the best lyricist out there but, but motherfucker do we have to fucking go ahead and, and literally drop down the fucking evidence here i will I fucking will. Holy shit. Like, I'm not doing this, bro. Take this into initiative, goddammit. For fuck's sake. Holy shit. <sighs> One thing after the other is just gonna get worse and worse. Like, I have to deal with this every single day. And also, this is the first time I'm ever defending fucking Cardi B, to be fair. I've never defended Cardi B when it comes to these conversations. Never have, never will, but this is one of the few reasons why. Because it, because it's very clear, like, the fucking Cardi B stance will never take accountability. Never will. And it's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. Like, holy shit. I'm not gonna keep literally sitting here trying to defend y'all fucking rhetoric because you choose to literally not do anything about it like do your job man i'm not here to defend her 
But this time I am, because I, I have no choice but to defend her. So, shit. So Cardi B is denying using a Ghost Rider? I absolutely don't follow what's going on in the celebrity world. The <sighs> because here's the thing that's bothering me, because I've been following her career. She literally got into, into rap within a year after getting out of Love and Hip Hop. And you're gonna sit here and tell me she got, she got like better with her lyrics within a fucking year of starting a career? I don't believe that shit. You, th th that's why I just sit there and say like I just don't believe that shit. For people to literally defend that is crazy. I, I'm not sitting here going to defend that. But what I will defend her on is the fact that, hey, she didn't steal this particular sample. This sample was from Missy Elliott. And the same thing goes for Ski Mask. Jesus Christ. I'm all over the place. But yeah. Like, do not take that as somebody who's taking certain songs and all that stuff. That's bound to happen. Some people sample. It happens. It's not like something that Ski Mask own. Trust me. It's not. That's why I don't... That's why I'm only going to defend her on this once. 